Hey guys, this is the GTB, and we're back with Nobunaga's Ambition, Iron Triangle. This is episode 58. Yes. Last time we fucked up the Yamaguchi who tried to attack us, as well as the Yamago. And now we are just kind of recouping our troops and trying to get to a position where we can actually launch an offensive that will succeed. So, yes. Yes, that was Jesus. Hell of money for not a lot of fucking other things. Uh, <laughs> You got demands for me? I'll kill you. If you want this piece of shit back? Yo, give me money. Give me money. <laughs> give me money. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Wow, this controller is an old piece of crap. This old PS2 control. Whoa there, Junior. It's just so mangled. Like, literally the wires are just hanging out of it on the top. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, uh, I think I broke it. I think I broke the controller. <laughs> I touched it and I messed with it. What the hell was that? Oh. That was the weirdest noise I've ever heard out of context. Now it makes sense, but before it was like, the frick? And now, literally, we wait. That's all we can do is wait. I mean, can we launch an attack on that? Maybe. I don't know if I'd want to. I'm insane. Insane in the membrane. So. Uh, what do I want to do? Nothing, apparently. I, I want to do nothing. My favorite thing to do. Oh my god, you suck. You even look like you suck. <laughs> you look like an asshole! <laughs> Sadakatsu Yoshioka. There's one hell of a war going on over here. The Mogami attacked the Uesugi. So did the Everybody's attacking Kenshin, and he's just like trying to survive. Doesn't look like it's working to be completely honest. But at first there may have been some kind of misunderstanding. But now it just looks like they're really hate. I can vit. <laughs> hmm. oh my God. I want to kill something. I really do. It's getting bad now. Because I want to go to war. I had a taste. I had like a little taste of combat. Now I kind of just want more. Come on, what did I do to you? I didn't even raise taxes, assholes. I don't even think you can. Go 
stifle these rebellions. That was fucking quick. <laughs> they were just like, ah, oh, dead. <laughs> they were, they were like revolted for three seconds, and then that was it. That was the end of the revolution. <sighs> ah, dead. <laughs> the shortest revolution in history. It was quelled in three seconds. Without troop interference. Troops were on their way. But they did not arrive. <laughs> they tried. But by the time they got there, they were already all dead. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? What are cavalry? Yep, I was like, either that's cavalry or they are all on crack. some kind of magical speed up button without realizing it. And now I don't know how to undo it. Oh, wait, what? Who is it? Who is it? Uh, you kind of suck, but you're better than the other people who suck. You're like average. To, like settle for shitty people. <laughs> yeah, he did take it out. Oh shit. He's doing good. Everybody fear him. Fear the Mitsuhide. Is anybody else doing remotely well? No, nope, he's the only person who has taken another base. Everybody else is kind of just murdering mindlessly, with no results. <laughs> killing back and forth. That's gonna be the thing, it's gonna be killing back and forth until I finally take a base, and then I can get things rolling. Happiness amongst the people. Will be achieved by murdering people. What? What did you just blow up? You assholes! Broke mad things. Stop it! Stop with the breaking! Oh my god, what did they- Jesus! They like destroyed a whole city block. You fucking butt nozzles. Little shit stains. I'm gonna murder all of you. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> like, I don't even care if it's okay. They're dead. I don't care. I'm gonna like murder the whole populace of this town and replace it with like a new populace. Because I hate all of them. Shit. <laughs> Not my town. Hell no. Start breaking legs. Breaking feet. It has been raining all day. No reason. It was nice out yesterday, now it's shitty as hell. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. It's so boring and so just monotonous. Oh god, it was not this monotonous. I don't remember it being at least last time. 
Because then again, the last time that I actually started a Let's Play was like months and months ago. Considering these things usually last like 25 to 28 episodes. So that's kind of like... Even if I put one of these out every day, that's still like 25 days. And there were times where I put out like, you know, Dynasty Warriors, Battlefield, Blurdy Blur. And this jazz. I need to do Skyrim again. Oh, you know what I can do for you guys too? Um, what was it? I just actually bought Payday 2 maybe a week ago off the PSN. My friend has been bitching at me for like the last year to get it, and I finally caved. It's, um, it's fun, but it's monotonous. Like, you do the same thing over and over and over and over again. And other than the, um, like, a little bit of flavor in the difference of heists, there really isn't too much different in the game. It's like, I'm gonna rob a bank. Now I'm gonna rob a store. Now I'm gonna rob a jewelry store. It's basically like that. Rob a convenience tools, jewelry stores, banks, that crap. There's a few heists that are, like, um, more intricate, like three-day heists, where it's like you have to do this and then this and then this and then if you succeed, you get this, and it's kind of difficult. And there's like the various difficulty levels and stuff. So it's fun, but it's one of those games that you you could play it every day, but you could only play it for like maybe an hour before you like lost your mind because you're like, I need to do something else because this is like doing the same thing over and over. And over. Which, I mean, any game is kind of like that. Monotony. I also got, um, what was it? I got Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11 for my, uh, PC. Fucking amazing. Love the game. Because I have, um, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 7. And that game was pretty fun. But it was very difficult in certain. I don't know. It was just, the combat aspect of it was like really difficult, especially if you didn't have. It's so officer driven. If you don't have enough officers, it's almost impossible to do anything. Which I guess is true in any kind of game that's like um, an RTS. Like in this game, I feel like if you didn't have enough officers, you'd be boned too. Which is why I'm hiring the shittiest people ever. But yeah, it really is kind of officer driven. But if you have like mad officers, then it's pretty much just like a numbers game. But they they did bring it to a whole new level because in the earlier ones it was always just like it's like this. You know, you have um you know war, and then you have um leadership, you have um politics, and you have like intelligence. And that, they added, um, charisma into that, so it's, what is it, they had charisma before, they added, it was war, intelligence, politics, and leadership, they, I mean, um, charisma, so they added leadership, yeah. So now there's five base stats, and I, instead of, like, you know, the aptitudes just being like, okay, they're good with this, so they can do good with research or whatever we're building. It actually plays a part in combat now, because there's an aptitude for weaponry, and you have to make weaponry. You have to make, like, spears, and you have to make pikes, and boat crossbows, and raise horses and shit for s your troops. I mean, you can just send them out with swords, but they're the shittiest weapons ever, so they kind of, like, cripple your unit anyway, so even if you had, like, the advantage numerically, you would still get your ass kicked, just because swords suck. Um... So that kind of plays a big part as well, because you also, if you don't have generals that are good with weaponry, like it gives um, C, B, A, and S, S being the highest, and you want, like, good officers, like, you're not going to have, like, an S, a person with S and pikes, and you're going to give them, like, spears where they have, like, a B. Because <laughs> that's just dumb. So you need to fit your officers to the weaponry that they're good with, 
And it's also like a rock, paper, scissors thing where like spears are good against cavalry and cavalry are good against pikes and pikes are good against spears. So it's just like this whole balance of like, you know, what your officer is good with and how good your officer is and what kind of weaponry they're using and what kind of weaponry they're using against what the enemy has. It's just insane and awesome at the same time. I love it. And it takes a long time to finish one of those things. Those campaigns, oh my god. Playing them for like a long time. Thank God for save functions. Because you could be playing for like days. <laughs> Just trying to take over all of China. It's insane. Like this game, if I just sat here and played for like seven hours, I could win. I know I could. I've done it before. As sad as that sounds. That was when I was younger though. I've had this game for many years. <laughs> And that was basically like, you know, when I had nothing to do during the summer, I was just sitting there lingering. Stuff like that. I didn't want to work. <laughs> Before I had a job. Uh -huh, let's put it like that. Let's smooth it out. Before I had a job, I was lazy as shit. <laughs> it's not about, right? Kill the farmer. I want to entice them to attack me. Yeah, nobody's gonna take him. He sucks. The Mystics? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Go to hell, me. <laughs> that's my character. These riots need to, like, contain themselves, like, for real. Riots when I have, like, 89 popular. It's like, what the hell? It's like if you had, like, an 89% approval rating. <laughs> the 11% the, the just riot, apparently, is what happens. I don't know. This is fucking stupid sometimes, this game. Just... Mechanics don't work properly, I believe. Rebel! Shut up! Go take a nap. Nobody likes you anyway. Dirty bastards. I want to incite either them or ideally them to attack me so they waste their troops. Honestly, actually, I'd rather these guys attack me just so they waste the hell of their troops, and then I can set mine out because they have a lot less to do. It's because they know their border is secret. Uh huh? Where are you going, buddy? You attacking the thing? Oh, I'm gonna wait for them to go away, and then I'm gonna attack. I have to. It's like. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Go away. <laughs> I need to go far enough away that I can like attack. Are 
they really attacking you know, Mihonoseki port? Is that really what they're doing? Oh my god, I hope they are. Oh my god, they are. I'm gonna wait for them to get, like, right around here and then just go. Because it'll take them so long to get back that they'll never get back. Are you here? Oh, are you, are you Harrius? Are you Harry? <laughs> are you Harry McLaughlin? Oh my god, it's happening. I'm doing it right now. Um. Pale and stampede. goes, but I think they're losing as far as the entire battle goes. <laughs> if it makes any sense. We tried real hard. Where the hell are you going? Yamaguchi? Yeah? Too bad, I'm like already there. Face! Come on, come on, come on, come on! This is like a time game and a numbers game. A lot of games going on right here. Right now. This is my time. Attack, 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 How did they get here so fucking quick? Oh my god, these fucking ass clowns! <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> Stampede their faces in. Oh shit. You learned taunt. Good for you. Nobody gives a 
They're gonna rally us. <laughs> hey, you guys are dope. <laughs> is that what it is? They didn't show up and like cheer. Hey, hey, good job. That's it. That's all they do. Good try, loser. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Good try, loser! <laughs> you like can't tell. Like, legitimately, I can't. Stab them! They just hiding it. She went a second. They're like, "Yo, I'm gonna stay over here until the fight is over." Loser. What was that supposed to be? You pussy. <laughs> Something like that. Pansy. Oh. He took offense. <laughs> he took an exception to that. And I like that this is all of, like, we're not even attacking the castle. We, like, came to his castle to fight each other is basically what happened. <laughs> I will kill you at his castle. <laughs> I'll meet you there. And then we did this. It just seems stupid, basically. Standing in this man's house, fighting over their house, basically. Stampede! Yes, face the cows. Cows of justice. Cows of great justice, I should say. Somebody died, I don't care. Is it even worth it now to attack this place? Bye! It was nice fighting! Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> this, that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen, ever. Probably have hella injured to bring home, so that's good. Our military will be expanded even further. Damage their castle a lot. And I like that their troops just like sat over here, they're like, wait. Until <laughs> they're done fighting. Whoever takes the castle, we can attack. I don't know if you can survive with just a port. Like, if you don't have a castle, but you have a port. I don't know if that would work. Because you don't have an income then. And you don't have a harvest. You, you don't have any, really. I mean, you kind of have it. I guess you do. There's like a farm and shit. marching away defeated. You're marching away victorious. You beat the shit out of them. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen. They sent 18,000 men. First we assaulted their castle and beat the shit out of it. Killed a bunch of their troops and then we fucked up their soldiers. We killed like 17,000 of them. I want to see how many wounded we got. <laughs> It's gonna be like 15,000. I'm gonna be like, damn! What? I think I can actually check. Injured? Eight. That's it? 8,000? Really? Well, that's a letdown. How's 
expecting a lot more, to be honest. Piss me off. you got, huh? Ho, 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 No, he's staying with me, buddy boy. He cannot be yours, for he is mine. Origami, no. I don't have troops to be throwing huh, around like that, dude. Damn. I have my own conquests to look after. And if they die, I mean, that helps me kind of. And wow, we're on 32 minutes, so I'm gonna have to cut this video here. Um, next time we will reinforce our allies, the Uragami. Honestly, if I just leave them to die, I won't lose any fame because they'll be dead. And then maybe I could just take this from their owners, the Yamana. But yeah, we'll see what happens. So, that'll be for next time. So until then, this is the GTB signing out. I'll keep doing what I do for you guys. You guys keep being the awesome people you are. And I will see you all in the next video.